I can't have sex and the girl doesn't get off, I'll fucking kill myself. This it's guy not. Is such a feminist. It's not. So cool. <laughs> I care. Head is crazy. Inco Inco is that what we're starting with? Head is crazy. Because that's a guy you, who's never got head before. No, no, because like you eat. That like you use the mouth to talk. Mouths are crazy. Well, what's use crazier, a mouth or a hand? I think hand a mouth. Hand you can knit, but then you can also fucking. Yeah, but the, a mouth like you can also do like the Gettysburg Address, and then also ah, fucking you top say. your head. Like yeah, the pen is mightier than the sword. The mouth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The mouth is mightier than the sword. What body part do we use the least? Uh, hey, what okay, tonsils? Isn't that crazy? You can just take them out, and you're just good without gold bladder too. But imagine, imagine being a tonsil, knowing you're worthless, but you're still there. I don't think you know. It knows. You can every day talk my body's like, man, shut up, bitch. Tonsils. Yeah, but I don't think a tonsil or, have ever had good a ideas. Dick is going in somebody's throat, and it's like, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. It tells you. Oh fuck. You know, tonsils yeah. are just a backboard for your cock. <laughs> I mean, clip it. Is that not? Is that the thing that dangles the Would back? Would you want to know, like, if it... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't think so. What? What's the thing that dangles the back of your throat? Uh, uh, the Adula Oblongata? That what? is not... That's, that's a Mexican restaurant I ate at yesterday. That is an Adam Sandler quote from... It's the uvula. Waterboy? The uvula? Yeah. No, it's No, vulva. that's what we protect sunscreen from. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, hold on. What is... I think it's the Adula Oblongata. The thing that dangles in your throat? You know who's hot? Medusa. I know yeah. she, I, but the funny thing is she'll make you stone, but could she only make my cock stone? Is she the one with the snakes on her head? Yeah. Mm. She turns me on. Dude, yeah, every single- What? Tonsils. The tonsils oh. are on the side. What's the thing that- That looks- Dude, you know what's funny? What? Every time you get head, it's a carnival game. Bling. That middle thing? Carnival game. Okay. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Would you want to know- Ooh, yeah. That's what that is? I don't, dude. The Bro. Insi the inside of a mouth literally looks like a vaginal. <laughs> it is. Uh, if you're getting head, <gasps> yo, is a, a mouth is a mouth pussy. Holy shit! Mouth. Hear me out. And then if you're getting a hand job, that's a hand pussy. <laughs> An ass is an ass pussy. So if you're jerking off. You're not jerking off. You're fucking a hand pussy. Correct. <laughs> that's a crazy sentence. Well, that's that's what I would say if someone was like when I was younger, be like, you have you had sex? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I will fuck my hand, dude. Do you ever put like, dude? If you change positions with your hand when you jerk off, are I you switching up. positions? I switched up the other day. I was ambidextrous out here. I was Hold using up. my right hand, huh? I was using right hand, but I used to be a lefty. I can't believe you're a lefty. Why not? Because you write with your right hand. But does anything about me look normal? Yeah. If you saw me in the subway, would you be like, that guy knows how to pleasure himself? Would you be like, I don't even <laughs> fucking know what hot pocket rapper he fucks with? <laughs> dude, the hot pocket rappers are crazy. Yeah, I'm feeling ambidextrous, dude. Why'd you switch up? <laughs> I can't wait for this. I can't wait. Do you have the carpal tunnel or something? What happened? No. Uh, remember a couple weeks back when I had the put motherfucking ointment on my dick? Didn't have anything, right? Remember? Everything was clean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But the guy was like, the doctor was like, okay, you can't jerk off or touch the head. And I was like, I'm going to touch the head. You can't touch the head? Why? Because you rub the shit off. You always had to have like some like ointment shit on it. Oh, you always had to have the ointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're not supposed to like do it. Yeah. And I used to fucking hit the reverse badussy on the hand. I can't believe the dude. No, I no, no. I used to legit like I would go <clears throat> out top to top, walk the walk top to top. What do you mean top Wait. to top? Crazy. No. Here. Yeah, he would go reverse. Here. Reverse cowgirl. Like it was backing it up on me. So you would go like this. <laughs> like yeah, this. Yeah. yeah Standard yeah. like every time. Yeah. We, you're gonna have wrist issues. I don't give a fuck. Hold on, like this. Yeah. Like you're starting a talking. motorcycle. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but, but why? Because it felt best. Didn't just your dad teach you jerk off? <laughs> no, he just showed me with his mouth. <laughs> his mouth, pussy. <laughs> dad, I love you. No, I don't know. I felt like this was the best sensation. Was just on the the head part, so I do this. I do I do do that sometimes, but I do it because it's so different that it feels like someone else is jerking it, me off. Well, that too. I My think dad. I probably tried that and then just fell in love with it. Because I used to be just a kind of a guy, just fucking like I'm feeding bird feed to the chickens, you know. You would open your fingers? No, but oh, okay. you can imagine. Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here, here. Yeah, but yeah. then I went the reverse, the reverse hand. The reverse does feel good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So you were hating, but you did it. But when you do, when you like, that's the default. That's weird. Yeah, but there's no right or wrong. You, the way you eat your pancakes, pissing me off. But I don't talk about it. You've talked about it a bunch of times. <laughs> I have. <laughs> but 
I haven't tried it. Why does everyone hate it? That's yeah, crazy. It's, it may, I, I really do think it, it makes, makes the most sense ever. It makes me freezer for somebody's head. Yeah. Do, yeah. You wanna, do you want to explain it really quick for the How you eat people? pancakes. Right. Yeah, I just, I just put pe- Don't peanut put butter. Just I put peanut butter. butter on the top, butter on the bottom, and then cut it all That's into... That's not the weird part. Cut it all into squares. All at once. You cut all at once. All at once. And then you, I put all syrup on top. Yeah. But isn't that you get all the hard work done, and then you just can, <laughs> then you can consume it like a fucking, like a person. Cause, cause if you cut, there's it, no hard work about pancakes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't have to think. I can just watch Gladiator eat fucking pancakes. And I got now every single time I gotta stop the goddamn Netflix to cut a piece. Yeah, but but that's the beauty you know, of you it. You know what I did today? I had oh, steak yeah. tips, of course. And I don't have my hop. Of course. Who do you think I what am? What did you do before that, though? What do you mean? What did you do before I hop? Oh, we're doing that already. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about right. your life. All right. Listen. You don't you have know, to. I put a finger in an asshole, and it wasn't mine this time. <laughs> From tip to tip. From tip the to Michael tip. The Michael Blaustein documentary. Dude, that's so that's good. Special should be called. From tip to tip. I want to have a thirty for thirty. I want to be the first non-athlete to have a thirty for thirty. You can just make it. Put it on your. You're right. Go on Facebook Live. This is a thirty for thirty. Title of that. Boom. But I'll do a 31 for 31. Who gives a shit? Anyways, <laughs> so, yeah, so I, f- I f- fingered, fingered a butt, and uh, I'm not shitting you. The, the, the night earlier, last night, I fingered a butt. <laughs> I'm eating steak tips, and I'm eating steak tips standing up <clears throat> because my apartment is still has construction. Whoa, Michael, it's been a while, huh? I know! My apartment still has construction. Dude, there's... So the same fingers that were doing this <laughs> yep. are just doing this? That's what I'm saying. I for- That's what I'm saying. I didn't wash my hands. I did not. Are you for real? For 100%. Didn't. Bro got E. coli. That's crazy. 100%, dude. <laughs> yes. I'm literally eating. It's not like I smelt it, but I'm eating, and I like got like two pancakes in, and then I put them, and I was like, I started giggling to myself. There's no one there to talk to. Dude, I'll never I was like, alone. What movie is that? Is that I Love You, Man? Where he walks up and goes, guess what I did last night? Sesame I don't know. Street? <laughs> no, it's like one of those like um, role models. Yeah, role models. Yeah, that's it. That's a great movie. Guy walks up and he goes, "Smell my fingers." Guess what I did last night? Like that's the coolest moment. Like the amount of times that like every guy yeah. would do it to you in the fret. Yeah, you'd be asleep and you'd be like, "Two in a tartar." It's kind of mean. It's hilarious. It is funny. It's funny, but it's also like. D- girls don't do anything like that. Guys are the only guys that are like, I'm going to keep this on me until noon tomorrow. There are women that do that. Not on their fingers, but there are women that like maybe don't wash their vaginas and they take their girlfriend's head and shove it in the pussy. And oh, like, sure, yeah. Smell it. <laughs> Guess what? And they go, Steve, like, how did you know, bitch? And they start fighting. Lucky yes. Dude, women fighting is the hottest thing ever. Dude, I've been watching lesbian porn recently. It's hot. <laughs> it looks like a light MMA. It's fucking hot. Well, have yeah. you ever seen wrestling porn? No. Oh, I have. Yeah, it's just like uh, it just makes me feel not very uh, alpha about myself. Yeah, no, these women could could beat your ass. Oh, I mean, mine yeah. too is what yeah, I mean yeah, to yeah. say. The royal you. Well, it's funny because like the loser gets pegged. Yeah, kind of cool though. That is cool if you're into it. And the loser, I yeah. would lose on purpose. <laughs> oh no, I'm pinned. Shove it in. Tapping yourself out. Yeah, hundred percent. Let's get back to this finger thing. Oh yeah. What finger? Thumb. Uh, the index, thumb. ET thumb and phone index. Home? Et trying to bump. Thumb. Thumb. When I was on. When I was, dude, I was doing doggy style. Who am hey, I? Hey, you, me, dude. Doggy style with a. This girl's got thing? perfect femurs for me. What the fuck? <laughs> In terms of height, bro is complimenting femurs. Bro is literally Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Cuts his fucking pancakes into acid-sized bites and it's then femur. It's not femur. acid. It's acid. They're like it's not it's acid. There's two. It's like two. Like uh, what is it? Maybe like stamps. Like what's that? A, like like a half half. They don't never sponsor us. Fuck them. <laughs> uh, like maybe like a half inch by half inch, pancake. I feel like you'd measure them. I mean, I can eyeball half an inch, dude. Yeah, size yeah. of my dick. Hey. That's a joke. Hold up, I'm hard. But that I, works. I, I, that's so cool. So you were <clears throat> fucking in oh, the. Oh, so ass I was doing the doing the doggy. Then hey, th- come throw the on thumb now. up there, and yeah. I was like, I'll, I said, "Hey, do you like bowling?" She goes, "Yeah." I go, Poof. "Oh wow." I didn't do that at all. Mm. Um, and uh, and yeah, and then when uh, then when I was doing the old uh, the old missionary, threw it in there as well. The underhand. The underhand. Let the me tell you something, dude. Approach, huh? I was getting because I was in, I was in and fingering. I was, dude. My what? brain was like working overtime. It's like one of those when you those little like uh, fortune tellers going. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, close. But I was like, it, I was index and p- it was it was yeah. 
That's so I cool. I was in a lot of orifices. Nice. Yes. Do your abs ever get sore the next day after fucking? No, I work out. <laughs> <laughs> Never? No. Anybody in here? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yes? Yeah. Good, Jack? No, no. Yeah, we're athletes, dude. These guys, these guys yeah, are made of construction paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's cooler. Like, What's oh, cooler? So, so you wake up the next day, you just feel fine. Yeah, boring. Sometimes my hip flexors hurt. Dumb. I, uh, See, sometimes I wake up and I go, oh damn, why my abs? I don't remember going to the gym. Oh, that's right. I was fucking. That's true. I, I, that that moment's kind of. But it good. is. But it is. It's like a funny like. Why am I? Yeah. Why, yeah. You know, it makes me feel both sides. I can spin it however I want. I go, damn, I'm a bitch. I need to work out more. Or I go, right. damn. I beat it up last night. I True. did a P90 sex. I like that one. Title. Title. God damn. Kansas City. This weekend, I'm there for four shows. Friday, Saturday, only. TrevorWallsComedy.com. All the shows are very, very close to sold out. I think the first two are sold out. But you can see me there before I go to Australia. I'm going to Melbourne, Sydney, Perth, Brisbane. I think that's it. October 25th through the 30th. So go to my website, Trevor Walls Comedy. If you want to see me live in Australia, I'm going to do shoeies and fucking, I don't know. I'm going to be drinking beers out of my shoe. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Michael Blastheim, where are you going to be? October 20th. I'll be in the Parks Theater in Philadelphia, hey! PA. I think there's literally like 100 tickets left, so go get those. Those are selling quick. Parks um, your ass in a seat. That's what I'm saying, dude. October 21st, guess what? I'll be in Boston, Massachusetts doing the freaking Wilbur. The first Wilbur. one is sold out, and the second one I think has like 20 tickets left. I'm not joking. So go get tickets before that one sells out. So October 27th to the 29th, Houston, Texas. I freaking love you. Tickets are moving. November 3rd to the 5th, I'll be in Salt Lake City. You Mormon, cute, sexy mother sucks. Come to, come to the show. November 3rd to the 5th. Uh, November 17th to the 19th, I'll be in West Nyack, New York. Not a place. Not a place. And the last date. For 2023, December 1st to the 3rd, I'll be in Dallas. Those tickets are a moving. So go get tickets before you can. Blogcom.com, blogcomedy.com. God damn. Today's episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. Gabe, you said you just what? Uh, I played Prize Picks Daily Fantasy and I won like $400. What? Whoa. For, that, honestly, I'm upset. That is a lot of money. And that's why we And own- how much effort did you put into those? Uh, it was so simple. How long did it take you to make all those 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 placements? Thirty seconds for the entries. But what and that's hell? why Prize Picks is the most fun I've ever had. Winning freaking money, and you can win up to twenty five x your money this football season. Okay, all you got to do it's super super easy. It's not this convoluted crap that's all over the place. Okay, and you just you just select two or more players. You pick more or less than their projected stats. And you place your entry, bada bing, bada boom, you win some freaking money, okay? Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app ever. You know, this week, I'm going big on my dog, Travis Kelsey. This <laughs> Thursday, running it up, dude. I'm going Travis Kelsey for more than 50 yards. Pretty something light for my boy. Light. I'm going Odell Beckham Jr. for more than 50 yards and Josh Allen for more than two passing touchdowns. So go to prizepicks.com backslash socks and use code socks for the first deposit match up to $100. That is a lot of money, okay? So they'll so, match anything up to $100? 100%. So if I put down 75, what are they doing? 75. Go to prizepicks.com backslash socks and use code socks for the first deposit match up to $100. Dude, go. It's you heard super, it right. Super fun, super easy. Go. God damn. Oh, this is what I want to say. Say it. Do you have an issue if a girl just takes a long time to come? Is that like a problem? Are you like, oh, this is... No, but when she finally does, I go, is this real? <laughs> yeah. Same, I, you know? I, have this, I have the exact same impulse. But there's also a lot of factors going into it. Yeah. I just need to know because I'm I'm redlining. That, I'm, dude, but that that's, that's where I'm at. Because I'm like, dog, I don't... I've done, I've done all the moves. Yeah. I, I, I would say. Sometimes we gotta bring in a new chef. I mean, yeah. Sometimes I gotta bring literally my brother in. <laughs> like I don't even know, but like it's like you know I'm doing all the moves. Yeah. And it's not like you know I I I I got some moves. I think I got some moves. Uh-huh. And then it's not moving the needle. Yeah. And then we're in there for like twenty something minutes, and I'm like, maybe I. Like and but, we, and we we're, we you know we we get there, okay. But then I have that same feeling where I'm like, 
Is this just so we can stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, is there communication going on? So this? much communication. Like she's like, oh, I'm close, or she's like, I don't feel shit. Uh, not the not the second one. But I mean, she's, you're ten minutes in, and you're like, oh. yeah, yeah. I mean, she's pretty. She's pretty like, uh, like we're we've both been very like, which is nice. We've both been very like open about what we want. Mm -hmm. So we like eventually get there. But like, it's. It's yeah, it's just it it takes it takes a little longer than what I'm used to. And it's like damn. This cause it dog well, it's I'm, a new what, it's a totally new thing. It's correct. Every every human is very different. In correct. Of that. Correct. But I'm just saying, like, when I'm done, I am sweating like I literally worked out. Like sweating. Is it a, is it a greater sense of relief after? Correct. But it's oh. but where I get to and I'm like, damn. This is this is what it's gonna be every time. This is insane. What if I get off the road and I'm tired? We just can't have sex. Well, you can. You just have to loosen expectations. And go. I can't have sex and the girl doesn't get off. I'll fucking kill myself. This it's guy not. Is such a feminist. It's not. So cool. <laughs> I can't fuck unless she comes. It's not fun. I don't care. It's not fun. Then yeah, you're but, sitting but, there. Then yeah, you're sitting there. You already came and she's and 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 she's like, "How was it?" And I'm like, "Good." And then and there's, she doesn't need water. She doesn't need a towel. She doesn't need to wipe up anything. Yeah. She's, she's on sit, a Zoom call the whole time. hundred percent. She doesn't give a heck. Yeah, but then you leave, then buzz, buzz, buzz. hundred percent. More of the story. You yeah. laid it down for thirty minutes, and you go, you know what I, I deserve steak tips. It was the next morning. Right. Yeah. But did you guys order steak tips together, or no, you no, 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 no? She, she bounced. I sub alone. Satisfied. <laughs> Well, no, that's not the sad part. The fact is you slept alone in your place that is covered in construction, plastic everywhere, and yep. then ordered steak tips, here's, which are made out of the same material. Funny? Here's the worst thing. I actually fell asleep in the Airbnb that, I, that I'm in. Oh, yeah, you told me this. Had a got, I don't know if you guys, listeners or watchers ever got this, but if I sleep a little weird, I get a massive headache, like if the pillow's a little weird or whatever, or my neck position. I woke up at four in the morning with the one of the biggest headaches of my life. I could not go back to sleep. My head was fucking throbbing. And I was like, hey. I need, hey, head, but I needed like, I needed some home comfort. Mm -hmm. So I literally, 4.15 in the morning, I packed my bag. Post nut packing? Dog. Dog. I was, I, I was, I had semen on me. I could see it on one of my abs. I got six. Fucking talk to me. And. From, probably from fucking so much. That's what I'm saying. So cool. Sad. And I pack a bag, take Gigi, go literally drive back to my actual house that is covered in plastic and shit and went to bed there. And then I woke up. And did a little workout, and I was like, I deserve steak tips. I, you strike me as a guy who would say that out loud. I think I probably did. <laughs> I deserve steak tips. But speaking of steak tips, the steak tips from IHOP, can you guys sponsor the show because I love you guys so much? Um, you think they have an office? <laughs> <laughs> they have so many stores. I think they're doing great. But they. Uh, but here's the funny thing is I there's it, my kitchen is covered in plastic and, uh, and uh, not styrofoam, what is it, cardboard? So I can't get into any drawers. Yeah. So I don't have I don't have fucking utensils. They didn't they didn't give me the utensils. So I'm eating steak. You never do. Never. Put them in the bag, dude. This is New York. I ordered something out there, and to add utensils, dollar extra. Fuck you. Huh? Fuck you. See, this is what I'm saying. This is when Stop. I wish I had a gun. This is when I wish I had a gun. Who would you For shoot? Things like this. Who would you shoot? Someone. <laughs> <laughs> But just hey, like Michael, you got some mail in my place. <laughs> <laughs> but just like, oh, I'm so I'm so sorry, sir. The actual to get they extra never ice put utensils in there because they assume they're sending to your house where you'd have utensils. Right. But what's I don't, the most what's the worst thing you've ever used for utensils? I've used like a library card to eat fried rice before. That's a pretty good one. You like that's out of my wall, I'm just shoveling in my mouth. Like here's the, the thing. I get thing. mad and then I get defensive and I'm like, I don't even fucking need silverware. Then I'm just eating pad thai with my fingers, just doing two in the pink, one in the stink. Oh. I used uh, shrimp. I used paper before, like what? Like two or three like things of like printer paper. I didn't use like, like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, how? but I folded it up like this and just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not bad. No, that's fine. Yeah. What do you mean? But just like yeah. <laughs> so, paper and you fold it in half and you have the little like little thing, little like you know little hole and then you like kind of shovel it with and it, <laughs> it. The paper like really gets moist pretty quickly, but it works. <laughs> Anyways, the steak tips and eggs, no fucking utensils, so I had to use my freaking hands and. Because you're talking about cutting pancakes, couldn't cut them. So I'm ripping, I'm watching Gladiator stand it up. There's no fucking chairs because they're all under Gladiator? fucking plastic. Did you put it on or it was just on in the background? Yeah, I put it on. <laughs> what the fuck? I like Gladiator. I haven't seen it in so long. 
That's what you watched it the other day. I ha- I'm, I'm, I watch movies on Netflix like books. Oh, right. I watch yeah. like five minutes at a the time, then I close the laptop. Yeah. I like You're to watch something. Gladiator yeah. eating IHOP Postmates steak tips. It gets worse. I'm, st- I'm, I'm, I'm. What are you st- tearing? I'm tearing the pancakes because <laughs> oh, I'm fucking no. utensils. What am I supposed to do? And I'm tearing them, and then I'm rolling them into like little egg rolls, which is actually kind of cool. And then I dipped it in the butter, and then I dipped it in the syrup. It was actually pretty good. What's f- you know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It was actually That's really a good. Very, dude, I've had so many down bad mornings. Usually pre-flight, I've had leftover hibachi before a flight. That's crazy. Ate it with my fingers. <laughs> I've heated up food in a hotel with a blow dryer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've really done a lot of things that are questionable in my life. Yeah, it's insane that like other things in our lives are so like put together like business wise, but like food is like oh, I food should that. be number one. Yeah, I say that all the time. Like I think career wise, I am very happy and confident and proud of where I'm at. Personal life, no. Yeah, I don't I'm know like, what's happening. W- you know how that old saying is like, oh, the best uh, thing to find love is through your husband's heart or through your husband's stomach or whatever the fuck. Whatever, what's that saying? Really? What's that saying? Uh, what is yeah. it? Through your, through his, the, no, the way, the way Dude, to love I couldn't is, be more way, disconnected. I dropped a piece of chicken on the airport floor and ate it. I got no problem with that. Dropping it on anything on the floor be like, yeah. blah, blah, Newark blah. airport. No. Okay, yeah, so that's you know, where I draw the line. Yeah, it's covered in fentanyl. I mean, fentanyl and COVID, like leftover COVID. Dude, I had a really funny, <laughs> we'll get to it. All right. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That's a fact. I'm telling you, dude. The way to I'm, a man's heart is his stomach? Through yeah. his stomach. So you got to go through the stomach to get to his heart. Go a little lower, sweetheart. <laughs> God, <laughs> God damn. That sounds, Sorry, that sounded so creepy. I don't like how they came the sweetheart off. Sweetheart sounded yeah, insane. Sweetheart's aggressive. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll bleep it and put in <laughs> respectful lady. Yeah. Honey and sweetheart's crazy. Honey? Unless you're a southern uh, uh, diner worker that's talking to me. God, it makes me feel so good. What can I get for you, honey? Oh, it's been said oh, to you. bitch, sit down. I'm working now. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh. Bitch, I got scorpions at the crib. I, Hold up. I'm hard. <laughs> Literally Saturday night outside my place. I see a scorpion on the ground out front in a little, like, uh, walkway. And I go, Say what? scorpion again. Scorpion. Get over here. See, I don't get that reference, which nah, is crazy. What is that? Mortal Kombat? Right. Scorpion. Mortal Kombat into that computer right now. I know Scorpion King wasn't that The Rock. Yeah, it's probably the worst movie that's ever been happened ever. Mm. Anyways, it's just the, it's just the sound he makes when he gets people. Well, so I'm I go to open my door and out from under a mat, a motherfucking scorpions go scurrying by, and I go, that's why I checked. My zip code ain't Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yeah, I didn't. I what? Didn't, I didn't think it's like scorpions happened. existed in. Bro, California. I I'm telling you, I don't live that far to the city. I know, but for whatever reason. I've seen coyotes. I've seen. Uh, that's a dog. Oh, shit, sorry. Uh, like fucking daddy long legs, grasshoppers, moth, butterfly. Like, I'm on some Steve Irwin shit. And Hawk, it's just. You see, I hear hawks at night. Dude, coyotes I are heard cute, one. dog. They are. But they'll eat Gigi like a fucking jalapeno popper. They're so mad. They're just all on instincts. They're hungry. Yeah, that's true. That yeah. actually makes so much sense. Everybody turns into a coyote when they're hungry. Hmm. Snickers ad. I will say though, if I was a coyote dude, pfft, dude, a nice fucking chihuahua for lunch. Oh my god! Holy it's fuck! Like Mongolian barbecue, dude. You got leftovers for three me? days. Yeah, dude, that's Tex Mex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Anyways, I see a fucking scorpion. I go, what is? I've never. I didn't know they're in California. What is happening? But this is on the outside. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I make a little video with it because of course content first before my own life. Go inside. <laughs> so true. Go inside. Yeah, and then uh, I don't think anything of it. Then the next morning, I go to throw it in the trash, open the door, and I like I, I thought something went scurrying by. I thought like yeah, but I go and I but I look and there's it's a very clear walkway like where you open the door and what's in front of it okay. and behind it like it's just wood. So I'm like I would have seen something. I thought it was like maybe a bullet dust or paranoia. I throw away the trash. You know, day goes on, and then last night no last night sir. In one of the rooms, I see the shell of the scorpions. The one that ran in was oh. the, was the original one. What do you mean the shell? Bitch was dead. Oh, dead. I thought but, they, I thought they deshelled and they're bigger now. Fucking raw dog in life, maybe. Actually, I don't no, that's know. That's what I mean. Wait, do they? That's what I'm saying. Do they fucking? I thought extendo? they deshelled. I don't know. So so I see this one and it it's first of all it's right next to where my cat sleeps, which I'm oh. terrified. I'm like if 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 my cat gets out by a scorpion, I'm shooting something. Me, I'm, I'm on some Michael Blaustein shit. Let me tell you a secret though, cats will fuck a scorpion up. 
You think? Dog. Bro, they got, they got the fucking M16 on the back. <laughs> the stingers? Yeah, dude, but cats are 100,000 times faster than a scorpion. I don't know, bro. I'll, I'll find out. But yes, if you found a scorpion shell, that means that it shed because it has to shed when it grows bigger. I was right. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so let me, there's a second part to this. So I see the shell and I go, fuck, that was one that ran through the door. That was one. This is giving me this ski Yeah, man. okay, but this. then this morning I'm downstairs and I see a smaller one. But it's also dead. And it, it just was like on the ground. So maybe that was the one that ran out of the shell, I'm hoping. And got smaller? I don't know. But it would it would be smaller than what the shell was. So the one that you saw downstairs, the smaller one, it like was like, you, like it was put on packed with meat and shit? Like it was like a It didn't a, have a shell on it. It looked more soft vertebrae. But oh. like if you're wearing football pads, you're smaller than the football pads. You know what I'm thinking? Does that make sense? How big was the one you found? Uh, maybe the size of my thumb. Thumbnail. So thumbnail. when a scorpion gives birth, they ah! give birth to 20 to 47 little ones. How, bi how big? No, trust me. I'm full full panicking. I went on. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, this morning I went in scorpion exterminator, and I was like, this sentence alone makes me want to move. It makes me want to move to a high rise. So that's a baby scorpion. Yeah, that, that, was, a, that was about a baby one. Oh no, bro! So there's so, fifty in your house, and so they shed that, and then they get bigger and bigger. It happens about six times before they reach uh, full size. Oh, no, cock did that. Wait, wait, wait. True. Wait. <laughs> so, so is that the one? Is that the OG? That's the baby. That looks like a baby. So we don't. How how fast do they grow from from egg to? Like fifteen minutes. Really? <laughs> Dude, those and are fucking huge. No, they yeah, don't. Get no, no, no. It's not not this uh, species. Um, What's that one? The well, LA version? Is, like, you fucking get out of my place. It's cold. Come on. Uh, no, it's hot where I live. Put me where you Probably live. Probably that guy right there. Dude, that's Fuck! too big. That is too big. Ugh. But, but, but really, what do I do? You call an exterminator right now. You fucking text Zach and tell him to handle it because that's but awful. What? How do they look for him? Three to five years? That's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you're it's on just, the road, one gun charge. Who cares? Bro. When you're on the road, Pluto's out there fighting scorpions. But to protect dude, his that's life. what I'm nervous about. That's I'm like, sick. I'm like, it's just the cat in my in, place right now. A and cat like, will fuck up scorpion. I'm telling you, dude. Cats are crazy, bro. Cat will die from a scorpion. It is possible, dude. If if my cat dies from a scorpion, I don't. What do I do? Who would I sue? <laughs> Gavin Newsom. <laughs> Damn. Today's episode is brought to you by Water Boy. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. oh, I haven't heard about them. What's going on? They must be new to the stiff socks realm. They, they are. are. Water Boy is a hydration powder scientifically formulated to cut hangover time in half. Thank God, dude. I get the worst freaking hangovers ever. I use this last weekend. It was a lifesaver, dude. There are other hydration packs on the market, but nothing comes anywhere close to fighting those Sunday scaries like Water Boy with zero sugar. Thank God. And over three times the electrolytes of liquid IV. Shade! Your hangover will stand no chance, unlike their competitors. Shade again. Waterboy what? has added you... ingredients beyond just hydration to help with nausea, anxiety, and fatigue. We all know hydration alone isn't enough to help after a bender you had in Las Vegas. For a limited time, our listeners get 15% off your entire order with promo code SOCKS. Listen, I like them. I, I think their packets are slimmer, and they're way easier to open than Liquid IV. So... Yeah. Do what you need to with that and, information. And they gave us a good hat. Good hat. The hat. They're a cool brand. Like a dope, like, like I feel like if I had sauce made with those, I'd be like, you get it. You're in the now. 100%. This person fucks hard. That too, dude. <laughs> so most hydration powders are packed with, I mean, I don't know, so full of freaking sugar that, uh, you know, you can crash even harder, not to mention you have to drink so many of them to get the electrolyte replenishment that your body really needs to recover. Waterboy has over nine times the electrolytes as Gatorade. Okay? That's incredible, dude. It's also gluten-free, caffeine-free, dairy-free, vegan, and made right here in the U.S. and Hell yeah! Gunshot! <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of people already trust Waterboy as their hangover cure. It's time to stop dealing with the anxiety alone, okay? For a limited time, our listeners get an exclusive 15% off discount when they use the code SOCKS at waterboy.com. That's 15% off with the code SOCKS at waterboy.com. Waterboy has got you recovered, dog. That's actually kind of sick. Goddamn.
<laughs> but here's the thing. But this is what I say. Like, remember 10 minutes ago, I was like, I think my career, I'm very happy. I'm, like, my personal life is deteriorating. I'm like, there's fucking scorpions in my house. My fridge has, everything is left over. There's mold in the bowls. Uh -huh. I don't know what's happening. My doctor's a fucking neck tattoo. What is going on in my life? Where, like, what is my first priority? Get rid of the scorpions? At least you have a house to have scorpions! <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, what would you rather have? A good sleep scorpions. where you might die? Scorpions. In the neck? Scorpions. No, oh, I, yeah, girls want to come over. Do you throw scorpions? <laughs> oh, you know what the most annoying thing is? Yeah, I'm getting it. DMs that are like, hmm, that's how you know it's Scorpio season. No. That's the hottest women. The hottest women are Scorpios. Yeah, because they're absolutely insane. What, like, like 20 to 40 eggs? Yeah. Oh, great, man. Can't wait to have a tally mark like I'm in jail in my kitchen of everyone I've shot. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of scorpions. Call you need to get uh, an exterminator. Person, in there. now, what? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this. What kills scorpions? Buy. Go to PetSmart. Buy that animal. Well, what? No, that's a dangerous road no, to lockdown. You're no. gonna get like, okay, now I got mongoose problems. Good. That's pretty cool though. <laughs> it's cool. But she, the, the weird part about a scorpion is it's like it's almost like a dangy. <laughs> it's it's like kind of a cool flex. Like if you, if you got cockroaches or like, oh my god, you're dirty, you're gross, you're disgusting. Scorpions are like, well, he probably has oil money. He's dangerous. <laughs> Honestly, isn't that weird that there are there, there's someone out there that's attract that's more attracted to you now because you have scorpion issues? Good, good. And you know what else? Now I have to call some random number that I'm gonna find on Google after typing scorpion exterminator. A guy with a faux hawk is gonna show up with a flamethrower and be like, <laughs> I'll find him. You're not real. Do you have a shaded area in your like outside space? There's plants yeah because this says like warm climate with a shaded yard do you have any citrus trees no did you already see a scorpion yes um yeah you gotta call a scorpion in That's scorpion king dog what like huh how Dude, is that a problem i don't know this sounds crazy having scorpions in your house is insane you don't live in a mud hut no. this is insane no this is a normal residential yeah Go to the neighbors. They have annoying ass kids. Fucking send the scorpion there. A hundred percent. Maybe that's what you should do. What the bro? Like, what is happening in my life that I have scorpions? I'm I've never you, seen one. What eats a scorpion? Go get a PetSmart. Get like two rats. Let them go. No, no. That's Dude, what I, would I do. but the fact Tarantulas. that. I, Good. Great. Good. <laughs> sounds like a chick Michael would fuck. I would, dude. A, girl, but, a chick with a tarantula on her neck, bitch. But I'm now, married. Like, so I saw the baby this morning. In my head, I'm delusional. I'm full court press delusional. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, oh, that was just the, the shell from the the big one. They're all they're all done. Bye. Woo. No, I'm gonna go home tonight and just. You're gonna go home. Yeah, I'm getting Airbnb. I have six. You want to stay in one? <laughs> God up, damn it, dude. What do I do? You so really you either call an exterminator or you bring in tarantulas, Fuck yeah. centipedes, Here or we, bats. Centipede, lot bats of feet. Are chill. Bats. bats are chill. Yeah. Have you ever talked to a bat? <laughs> no. They're insane. The bat man's crazy. Bats are insane. Dude, how, does it not, how do they not get headaches with all the blood rushing to their head? I don't think they have blood. Bats? Yeah, that's why they always, that's for the vampires. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> But they're alive, it, they have to. What do you think blood, they just right? plug that's in? Not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. God, Bi Biden's damn it, alive. Dude. He doesn't have any blood. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, dude, I'm leaving <laughs> in like two weeks. Like, what? Am I going to come back to just. No, dude. There, there's like, you probably, like, if we're being serious, you probably call like Terminex or something like that. They've, they've dealt with this problem a billion times. They come Scorpions? In, 100%. Yeah, it's actually pretty common in, in warm parts of LA County. So. A billion times. Oh, they put out like apple slices and they eat them and they kill them or something. Or like a little piece of cheese. As, as long as they're not like lethal. The baby ones. My cat is dumb. The baby ones probably do not have enough poison to kill anything. Okay. Oh, it Dude. takes a long. They're not like a like a like a house fly that's going to be reproducing all the time. It can take months. What um, do you mean? For for more scorpions to get born. So no, like, but what, what I'm saying is, I think he saw a small one. So there's probably a bunch. Yeah, but I'm saying like I don't. I think probably of, there's the ones that are there, but it's not like you're gonna come back from in two weeks and there's gonna be like a hundred thousand scorpions. Right, or right. Anything. It's like right. that group that you have now is probably the group you're gonna have for a while. Well, that's somehow worse. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But what all the messages like where there's one, there's many. They travel in pairs. Are they telling you to say this? Fuck, C call someone. Happening. They'll they'll get they'll get rid of them in forty minutes. Good. They really will. Just what a funny thing to have. What a funny to put thing on your to, to do have. List. 
Ter- I don't even, I honestly, I'm not, this is jokey joke. I mean, it's not jokey joke. I didn't think scorpions existed, like, past, like, Disney. I didn't movies. think they existed residentially. Right. What are they doing sitting on a love seat? I thought, <laughs> I thought you guys like rocks. Yeah. I. If you could be any, uh, what, is that an insect? Is a scorpion an insect? Reptile? I like snow leopards. Those are pretty cool. Those are snow fucking leopard sick. little geckos. Snow le- leopard gecko. Le- leopard gecko. Gecko. Leopard gecko. Got any gags? Man, God damn. Dude, I'm getting hammered with hate on fucking Bumble. Just the worst you, messages wait, ever. What? Not hate, but like just wait, the what worst. What was the thing you said? You ha- be hammered. I said hammered with hate. Really? On Bumble. Why? Not what are hate. You saying? <clears throat> Hate's crazy. That's not the right word I wanted to use. Just like hammered with bad messages is what I wanted to say. Oh. Just like four in a row. Just like real bad. Like what? Just like, I, I'm probably funnier than you. No, you're not. You literally work at a fucking circus. There's no way that you I are. Like, <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> She's like doing whippets and juggling like chainsaws. Like, what's the difference between a cat and an alligator? You're like, this is going to be good. <laughs> but whatever, man. I'm fucking, I'm the scorpion king. So what are you going to do for real? I'm going to get a scorpion tattooed on my neck. I don't know. I'm going to call a Terminator and be like. The Terminator? <laughs> yeah. They're boys. The Terminator. How, there's got to be a termination company called the Terminator. Terminator. Do they still have the 10 houses for ter- termites? Yes. Yeah. There's got to be a better way to go about it. I mean, yeah, like, dude, they literally put a thing over and they go, move. And they go, and they, all the bugs die. Why do you have so many bugs in your house? I don't know. For whatever That's reason. That's too many bugs. Dude, like, it's, it blows my mind. Like, there's just little creeks and crevices. There's, like, spiders, like, roly polies just pulling up. Yeah, get I out. Literally had the, no, oh, I, at your place now? Yeah. Are you all like on a, what's happening? I don't know. I've it's, been to your place. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not mountainy, like but it's yeah. like close. Like no. it's, it's like not near hiking trails, but it could be. Here's, so I literally put a liner under the door so like shit couldn't crawl in. Cause there was like a solid week. Every morning there'd be a new roly poly, just, just 86 on the ground. <laughs> Dude, get out of here. Also, if I'm a roly poly, I'm dying balled up. Cause then your body's so mobile. <laughs> you can push around. That's true. <laughs> that must be fun. What do roly polies do? Fucking What's roll and the pull. actual name for a roly poly? Isn't crazy. it so dumb that we have the name that we always use, but then there's a scientific name? Shut up. Yeah. Let's just use scorpion because they're like, oh, it's not actually not scorpion. It's stop always how to say this. It's actually somehow even sillier. No, it's some crazy, right? Armadillo today. That the fact sounds, that you can read that is crazy. That sounds me. like the mayor of Texas just had a stutter. Armadillo today. No way. Armadillos are real. True. Armadillos are real. Are, are those related to armadillas? What does an armadillo do on oh, a no, Tuesday? They're called, they're called pill bugs, which is the worst name I think I've ever seen. Pill bugs? I get it. Kind of looks like it. Motherfuckers, little perk 30 bugs? Oh, I have eaten one of those before. Maybe You've that's why I became a roly that. poly? Yeah, my brother that's why told you me. That. Heroin. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What? My brother told me it was a chocolate chip. Damn. That's <laughs> fucked, bro. <laughs> But just a rogue chocolate chip? Yeah, like out in the lawn. He was Dude, like, that hey, happened to me growing up. They, it was a cinnamon raisin cookie. Like, That's chocolate chip. Fucking cooked. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? At like um, school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go I already know you're going to talk shit. I already know you're going to talk shit. But there was cookies and I thought it was chocolate chip, but it was oatmeal raisin. And somebody was like, oh, that's chocolate chip. And I ate it. It was oatmeal raisin, which I actually kind of fucking love. <laughs> Hold on. Why was this such a big event in your life? <laughs> you don't remember the first time you got duped for a chocolate chip? His was a roly-poly. Mine was raisins? No. <laughs> but, I mean, his was an insect and yours was a different cookie that's still <laughs> You eat pancakes like a fucking scratch-off lottery that's ticket. True. <laughs> that's true. I do. That's I don't true. know. You, but, uh, I, dude, I ate lightning bugs once. <laughs> that's where see what how well mine's way worse than yours yeah so let's see I why was, you were talking i shit. was catching lightning bugs oh no I told the story before i was catching you have li- not told the story before. <laughs> I have. i'm gonna tell you and everyone's gonna remember but jack i don't think jack is part of the team yet oh. i was catching lightning bugs i was like 10 no dad and i was catching <laughs> lightning bugs and some of them got out and they started flying and i both my hands I, and I went. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> first of all, you've never told the story. I, I never know one time. I, swear, I think I you might have more CTE than Jack. Probably. Yeah, that's insane. I fell a you, bunch you of times. You caught it in your mouth. I caught. I caught one, uh, maybe two in my mouth because I was. I didn't want to. It was. I was almost to the top. I was like almost. I was almost done in my head. I was like, I only need a few catch? more. A bunch, dude. What do you do with all that light? I don't know. Read. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, but I caught a bunch, and then two or three, two or three, f- f- like, and I was like, oh no, my dad left, not you guys. And then I, I, was like, I go like this, and I, here's, here, you guys, something I'm making this up, I'm not making this up. I don't know why. I was like nine or 10, and it was in my mouth, and I went, and I, I bit it. Ozzy Osbourne, that bitch? 100%. God, I bit damn. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's way worse. That's it's not great, but it's it, not bad. But yeah, uh, more, I do think you need to get an exterminator probably pretty quickly because scorpions are scary. You know, they can get you two ways. They have their little pincers and then they have the. Yeah, bro. Yeah, fucking, too many things, dude. They're yeah. literally like a turret. Yeah, they look they're like, like a that weapon. shit you get in Halo where two people in the front can shoot and they have the shit in the back. They need to, no, trust I'm me, just, I'm losing my mind. But I'm like, oh, go, gotta go record a podcast. I'll figure out life later. They need to go to a therapy. Because there's too much defense mechanisms. Like, what's what yeah, happened in your past life that you mm. need two? Actually, they have four things. They have they have two in the front. They have one stink thing in the back, and then they're made of football pads. So, like, what's what are you trying to hide, Scorpion? Yeah, who hurt you, Scorpion? They're literally yeah. Built yeah. like a Hummer three with yeah. turrets. I can't believe people bought Hummer threes. Oh my god, I, there's a yellow H two somewhere near where I live, and I see it daily, and I go. Something's wrong in that house. The hottest girl that went to my high school drove a white Yeah, but that was Hummer years three, ago. Or Hummer now, two, three, I don't know. Okay. Imagine you saw the same girl driving the same car. You'd be like, that woman has tried opiates. A hundred percent. She's currently on them. Okay, now I want to call this fucking terminal. <sighs> it's all good, man. I'm moving to a fucking condo. I'm sick of it. I'm, dude, that's like, yeah. Condo that's floating in midair so no animals can go to it. Dude, I was looking at, can you know, this is so dumb to say, but you rent like a, a condo, you can rent an apartment, you can rent a house. And I'm looking at like smaller, like really small homes, you know, like two bedrooms or whatever, because I don't have a house, so I'm thinking about moving. But I like in the house and I'm like, I don't, I don't, there's no one here. I want to be like next to, I want to hear people fucking or whatever. Man, I'm just not used to it. it. I think I want to be in it. Well, I will say, yeah, going from New York back to my place, I was like, it was very like, the vibe's way different. That's where you need to move. What was that? This is a mansion on top of a skyscraper. That's sick. Yeah, Where's that? Is. No scorpions up here, Trev. But here's the thing. There is. Where is that? They literally spawn India. from like dirt. That's so I was cool. at a Rams game yesterday in the stadium. Uh-huh. I was with Amanda. She got stung in the stadium. I'm like, how the fuck that bee get in the stadium? Yeah. Where he? Oh, he's in the booths? Dude, a bee? There's like raccoons in that goddamn <laughs> stadium. Raccoons Dude, are crazy. You know, you know there's a nightclub? In, not a nightclub, but Bootsy Bellows is a bar in LA. Yep. They have their own booth, and I went to the booth. It's like a DJ. There's like bottle service. There's tables. There's a whole f- full bar. Nobody's watching the game. Everyone no. is just there being like, shoddies, where you at? Yeah, but LA, dude, no one's watching a fucking game in LA. True. Jack sent us a picture with all my Eagles fans. Oh, yeah. The whole crowd green. Yeah. Crazy. God damn. Bubba, 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 blue chew. What is it? They know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. That's the end of the ad. Just joking. But let's say, hey, I love this podcast. I just discovered you guys on TikTok.com. And I'm talking about it for the first time ever. What is it? Blue Chew is the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet. Let me tell you something. They freaking send it right to your freaking door, okay? There's no need to go to the embarrassing trips, to the CVS, the Rite Aid. Hey, excuse me. My PP doesn't work. None of that anymore. Jack's laughing. That's a good sign. None of that anymore. All right? Zero. Right to your door in discreet packaging so your neighbor doesn't go, oh, ha ha. Hey, Sally, doesn't work. Yeah, and look, I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but the chew is kind of tasty. <laughs> it is. Dude, you can just chew it if you want. Dude, sometimes. Because you think the misconception is you'll just be bricked up all day. No. You don't got to time it out. It's only like, let's say you're about to have a night, uh-huh. but that's later and you're right. hungry now. Right. Pop it now. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't kick in until like it's until time. you're ready. Yeah. Right. You if know. you're having a bowl of Lucky Charms and you want to <laughs> sprinkle a fucking blue chew in there, you can. Don't do that. We're just joking. But I'm saying like everybody thinks you have to take like 15 minutes before you nope. do the intercourse. No, you can just take it any time really. And that well, not You I mean, get <laughs> rocked up. Yeah, don't take it before like church or something. But like you get rocked or, up. Yeah. Damn, Jesus looks hot. Bang. <laughs> But listen, what we're saying is like, it's just a convenient subscription that's sent to you. You don't got to worry about nothing. It's at your door. Also, the first month, might I add, free. How much is it though? F-R-E-E. It's Whoa. free. The first month. The first month is free. All you got to do is pay for shipping. It's five bucks. Five bucks. Who dude. gives a heck? I'm five bucks to get, to get rocked up. Rocked yeah. up. First impressions last. That's all that matters. So make your first impression last, just like yeah. your cock lasts. And round two? Did we talk about round two? We haven't talked about round two. Yeah, because round one, yeah, you laid it down, but you nut it quick. That happens to the best of us. It happens to everyone listening to this show. <laughs> but that round two is all that matters. 
Because when, when she goes to the girls the next day, I was like, how is it? Round one is like, kind of whatever. But round two, it was a fucking a light post. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, dude, I'll tell you what. What? That's is it. this still the end? This <laughs> is still the end. I'm thinking about sex. I got <laughs> I got so many stories. Anyway, oh, Blue Chew wants to help com. you have better sex, okay? So discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. So we have a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our code SOCKS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping, as we said before. That is bluechew.com, promo code SOCKS. To receive your first month free, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. We sure do. We do. God damn. Have you guys uh, listened to the new Drake album? Champagne Poppy, I did. I listened to like half of it. What do you think of it? I really liked it, man. I feel like Drake albums are like, uh, it's like when you break up with somebody. Like at first you're like, I don't need them, I don't need them. And then a month goes by and you're like, why, like, why isn't this in my life? Mm -hmm. Like I need this every day. I feel like I listened to it at first and I was like, oh, that's okay, there's some good shit on there. But then there's a lot of um, melodies. But in a month from now, I'm going to be like, start to finish, untouchable, best Drake album. There's some, uh, there's some, some questionable Drake bars from really? the album going around the internet right now. Drake's wordplay uh, always makes me so happy. This also, is, he just names it after a city and a time. It's so funny. You I always, love when he does that. You always know it's going to be the best song on the album. A, you think? ADM in, in Charlotte is mm -hmm. an amazing title. What's mm -hmm. the most random title you could come up with? 4 p.m. in Appleton. <laughs> <laughs> he just like literally loves to be like look at the clock and then look at his Apple map and be like, name. Look at his Apple map? <laughs> yeah, name. You think he knows what the fuck he is? Did you no. see the response to Joe Budden? That was crazy. Funny. Dude, bits. Do you think bits. that was do you think that was all him? Just, probably. I think it was just off like the like just anger. Just I, I, I think he probably ran, he ran a by a few people. people. Yeah, 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 yeah he he that last that. line about the 747s. Yeah, dude. Pull that up. That shit got me fired up. At Joe Budden, you have failed at music. You crazy. left it. <laughs> crazy intro. Starting like that. You're not wrong. You have left it behind to do what you were doing in this clip because this is what actually pays your bills. For Fuck. any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A wow. quitter give their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switched careers because the things that pop into your brain had you broke living check to check. Fuck. And the raps you write had four, had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty uh, NC? Is that NC jeans? Yeah, yeah. In dusty NC jeans to screw up their face to mood, mood music 29 and pretend you are the goat. God. Um, I'm trying to find that last line. It's the very last one. The if last you, line okay. is the best, though. Uh, if you need to put it in simpler terms, I own a 767. He owns a modest house in the 973 and flies first class on special occasions. Fuck. What do you think those special occasions are, though? His, like, birthday? Like, flag day? <laughs> like, I feel so bad for Joe Budden. Uh, also, His what last name's Budden, by the way. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, well, full name, Joseph. Joseph Budden. That's a politician. Can you, where's the 973? Is that Jersey somewhere? Also, how does he know that? He knows everything, dude. Uh, Northern Newark? New Jersey. Yeah, Oh, Newark. yeah, bro. If I got outed for living in Newark, not dude, a great People are wealthy in Newark, man. I don't know. I'm trying to help him out. Um, <laughs> can you, uh, can you look up what a seven, what is it, 767? Well, they don't have scorpions there, so they're doing better than I am. But they have 767. You know what that is? It's a plane. No, I know, but I want to see like what it looks like. It's like a full blown like, like Jesus any Christ. Delta flight. He owns you haven't seen that. Air, you haven't seen Air Drake? No. You haven't seen his own plane? No. People what will is, video will record it flying into like Dallas for the day of a show. The fact that it's not all painted like an owl is crazy. It's, it's gold. Show show footy the outside. Yeah, but the whole thing should be an owl. Owls fly. <laughs> Whoa. You know what's crazy? Ooh, can I, didn't think of that. Can I, can I run this by you? Real quick? Can I run this by you? Real quick? You know how they, you know, like if you if you sleep, uh, if you don't sleep, you call it, uh, you're a night owl. Yeah. But all owls are nocturnal, <laughs> so why wouldn't you say you're an owl? <laughs> I'm sick of it. I thought about this two days ago on a flight, and I'm like, I fucking hate people. They're you're it's an owl. <laughs> why do you add, add a night to it? Is anybody a day squirrel? <laughs> A day squirrel? Are you a day squirrel? The early nut gets a nut. Bird gets the nut. What is it? The early bird gets the early worm. Early bird gets the worm. So here's That's Air Drake. Drake. But people will see it flying into the airport, like at LAX or fucking yeah. wherever the fuck you fly. I think all the privates have like Van Nuys in LA or some shit. 
That's insane. The amount of people he can fit on that is fucking crazy. Dude, could you imagine the stewardess comes up to him on, and he's on his laptop and they're like, uh, sir, we're getting ready for landing. Can you put that away? Give me head. <laughs> do you think they have the same rules? Fuck no. On that shit? Bro, they do? I'm telling you, there's other airlines, like this jet suite thing, is, um, they don't give a fuck. Bro, I'm typing an email as I'm landing. Oh, we're going to hit turbulence. You might hit a key. Like, this shit is so annoying. We're going to be landing in 40 minutes. Great. Cool. How long do you think it takes for me to pack up? Also, real quick, miss, why do we need to pack up? My fucking MacBook Pro is going to take this goddamn flight down? How about you do this? How about you don't crash? You do your job, and I'll do my job of holding my fucking computer. How about that? How about don't crash? How well, well, uh, safety. How about don't have a thing happen? We don't have to worry about safety. Well, you got to move your dog, and your, you can't have a, your dog and your fucking uh, backpack God, on the ground. I want it to be every man for themselves sometimes. Yeah. They go, you, you, have to, you can't have two things on the ground because people next to you will trip. It's a safety hazard. All right. I'll look to my left and be like, hey, real quick, are you an athlete? You no, are? But, but, uh, can you leap over a fucking backpack? Yeah, the, the, also the when they gotta fold the seat up, which I kind of get so you can get out quicker. But like, look, if we're going down, we're going down. Let me go down in comfort plus. Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna go down, nothing's gonna stop us. Everyone's gonna die. Malaysia flight, whatever the fuck, no one's gonna find us. It's fine. <sighs> Air Drake, baby. There's some kind of questionable lines from from all the dogs. Drake's got some sus about. lines. I love that. Here are the most sus lyrics from Drake's new album. Let's love go. It. This one's from BBL Love, and it says, they say love's like a BBL. You won't know if it's real until you feel one. I don't hate that. I don't hate it at all. That's some Bill Nye shit right there. Drop in two Cialis in her liquid, okay? I ain't got a strap. I got to risk it, okay? Huh? Hold on. Wait. So Rick Ross can't put a Molly in it, but he can put a Cialis in it? Two. Too much. Uh, this one's from Daylight. He says, I'm trying to fuck all the bitches that look like my ex. Same. <laughs> Give me new, dude, generally <laughs> people have types. You don't, you don't like have sex with a gymnast and have sex with a WNBA player. Like it's usually kind of very, you know, straight down the line. All right. So this one's from members only. It says, uh, feel like I'm bi because you're one of the guys, girl. <laughs> I don't, but, but I don't, in, I don't. In a guy's brain, that's a compliment to a girl. You understand? It is. I don't have anything wrong with that. You're like one but of the like, dudes. But like, imagine you're like making love. Like, yo, shot. I might be bi because like you remind me of Kevin. I'm and into then you it. Dap. Oh, the dap. Well, I, but I like Fortnite. the dap. I, all that's right, funny but, to me. But adapt jokingly, like you both laugh. But like right. after, like imagine, like all right, text when you get home, bitch. Hop on cod. I I honestly I know what you're saying. I'm into it. Well, I'm fucking into it, dude. I had sex last night and fist bumped afterwards. It was great. Yeah, because she came after an hour and a half. I first thought you had all, left in your body. First of, all, like, oh. first of all, it was like 30 minutes, and I'm still not sure she came. <laughs> she didn't. There's no way. The 20, the 29 minute mark hit, and she goes, I got to wrap this up. Oh, yeah. I got to watch Survivor. Um, this one's from 8 a.m. in Charlotte. He yes. says, So many checks owed, I feel Czechoslovakian. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't hate okay. it that's exactly some dumb shit I'd say in a video. <laughs> So many checks. Oh, and I feel check the Slovakian. Uh, on Fear of Heights, Drake says, I don't pay for pussy. I tip for the service. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't pay for That's pussy. That's literally what we do with blue your ads. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Say that one more time, please. I don't pay for pussy. I tip for the service. So afterwards. Thank you. It was free. But he goes, here's money for your time and the experience. So you did pay for it. It's like a pedicab ride at Coachella. The ride is free, but you better tip. Right, but he did pay for it. But he... Just because you say it's a tip, you still paid for it. Oh, yeah, I didn't pay for pussy. I just bought her a Birkin bag. Oh! What do you think you did with the Birkin bag? Right, right, right. So you did pay for it, Drake. But, it, but it's funny. But it's like when they're like, hey, this is on the house. And he's like, all right, here's a 20. Like, he's essentially right, saying, like, right, right. it would have been free. Right. I understand what he's saying, but he's still yeah. paying for it. And I'm sick of it. Uh, so this one's from members only. He says, time to arch that back and put both hands down like 6.30. Bro, that's heat. Oh. Like. <laughs> bro, that's, that's hot. Heat. That's fucking good. Because I used to say growing up, when you get erect it, from 6 to midnight. Yep. 6.30. You know, 6 to midnight. Like both hands down like 6.30. Bro, who's writing this shit? Not him, but it's fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> Why you act like just because I go to the strip club, girl, that I don't love you? You still listening to R. Kelly in the whip, baby girl. I don't judge you. 
This sounds like a for real fight that you'd overhear at a stoplight in Tarzana. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> what is he even talking about? Who's R. Kelly? He's like, uh, I'm joking. Yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, this one's from What Would Pluto Do? He says, Swear I want to tear your box out like a coach, get inside and bend a dick just like the Pope. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we sure this is from a Drake album? <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is from a January 6th fucking letter. This sounds what like it? something that people like Angela White's DM say. <laughs> hold on, what does it say? Swear I want to tear your box out like a coach. Stop. I thought they were talking about- What like, does that mean? I thought he was to say tear like the box. Like Remember those little things you get on top of cereal boxes? Kel General Mills, coach. Kellogg's? Uh, after a shot has been taken, coaches will encourage their players to box out. This means making contact with the player they're guarding. So it's a basketball term. Nah. Carry your box out. It, that's not a term. Anyway, so the second part, get inside and uh, bend a dick, is because bend a dick sounds like Benedict, which is the name of a pope. Pope Benedict. I thought he was going to Cumberbatch. Oh, get inside yeah, and that's why he said after the pope. Wait, no, the Pope is not who I thought it was. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, well, who do you think the Pope is? A priest. <laughs> He's a priest. He's like the head priest. Yeah. Yeah, uh -oh. but, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 uh -oh. okay. Right, but like priests are the ones that are notoriously like, you know, For doing what? dick activities. Uh-huh. Yeah. What if Drake is out in a, a priest right now? I don't fucking know. Uh, so we got one more here from uh, yeah. Drake from Tried Champagne Our Best. Poppy. This one's not that crazy. It's just like very peak Drake. He says, I swear there's a list of places that I've been with you. I want to go without you just so I can know what it's like to be there without having to argue. I feel that I, so much. That's the best thing he's ever said. God damn. Mr. Wallace. What's up? Dude, when we started this podcast, dude, an online store was the furthest thing from our minds, dude. But, dude, every single time we have sold merch, it is so, so, so easy, all because we use Shopify. Shopify. Whoa, Whoa. Love that sound, dude. Another sale from Shopify. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, dude. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage? Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Shopify. Shopify's here to help them grow! Grow! Grow, okay? And it's for anything, whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits. Or you're giving head. <laughs> I would love to get head while uh, getting money on Shopify. They let you sell anything anywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever, whatever, whenever you're selling. Shopify's got you covered. Cha-ching! Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. Dude, 36%, okay? Better compared to any of the leading commerce platforms. I didn't even incredible. know there was other commerce platforms. Are there? You don't need them. Who is Shopify it? is like number one in the world. Like, in the world. Like, the imagine not using them. Stupid. What are you, an Android user? What are you doing? Idiot. Idiot. No, just kidding. Not to mention, you can now sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Hello, I'm an AI-powered all-star. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. That is a freaking big number. Plus, Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way. Uh, because business businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. There's no other thing you need to know. Other than you can sign up for one dollar per month trial period at Shopify.com slash socks. All lowercase. Go to Shopify.com slash socks now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash socks. Cha ching. God damn. You know what's a big thing now? You gotta order for the table on dates. Which is also weird. I don't know how to read the fucking menu. I don't know. I gotta how to order read. a god dude, don't make me order for you. Well, Hold on, now I have to order for you. I was in New York. I have to pay for your fucking no, Uber. I was in New York and this girl's like, oh, I don't. She's like, oh, you want to just order for this. the table? She goes, she goes, I get like order anxiety. I'm like, that's not real. It is, but it's not. No, no, no. It's not real. What you're trying to say is you don't want to do anything. So now I got to ask you, hey, 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 let me ask you, do but, you like deviled but, eggs? Now I got a fucking middleman this whole I'm, menu. I'm literally a booking agent for Correct. the waiter. I'm this, like, okay, so what do you like walking me through? Correct. What kind of towns do you like? Yeah. Do you like salad? Yeah. Okay. No. But, but like now I'm just ordering a bunch and like hoping it lands. Yeah. So here's the thing. You're hoping it lands. And also, I got to order for you. I got to pick the restaurant. And I also got to pay. <laughs> Write on this piece of paper. Check yes or no if I'm getting cooter.
and she gives it to you and she goes, you have to pick. And you go, what? What? In yeah, the middle. It's just like funny, but like that is a more common thing now. It's like you got to use order for the table. But I will say, now that I know that, it is kind of like a fucking, hey, what's good move? You're it, like, it is, hey, yeah. we'll get a Caesar fucking a little bit. Of <laughs> it is, but here's the problem. It is, but also I feel like a douche. I would never do that. I want you Correct. to choose what you want to choose. That's what I'm saying. Here's the problem. If you set that precedent, now you're the order for the table guy. Yeah. I'm not an order for the table guy. I what, barely can order for my motherfucking self. I just don't know. Like, I'm not you. Yeah. I, I, I just want to do very independently. You want to share shit? Great. But I don't know your hunger levels. I'm just like, I'm getting like a whole... Like, I feel like I'm a goddamn, as yeah. a car mechanic, I'm like, all right, tell me everything that's wrong. Okay, I'm a little hungry. I ate it for. I haven't eaten yet. I don't right. really like this. I don't really. know if you like ricotta. They gave you a menu and me a menu, not me a menu. They gave like, both. Let me ask you a question. Do you have your high school diploma? Cool. Do you know how to read? You know what you eat? The only time ordering through the table is great is when you have a family. Because you look at your son and you go, he'll have a piece of lettuce. And Max. He, <laughs> he hasn't paid rent in 11 years. And he, the other brother, can have the bottom part of a corn dog, whether you have the crunchies. Yep. And this, and my daughter can have the stick of the corn dog. <laughs> but I just like, this is like a newer thing, I feel I, like. No? I, that's never have you heard I, of that? I, I haven't heard it. Won't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> God, I oh, wanna, you can just order for me. I wanna, oh, I, well, can I? Oh, interesting. I'll order for you. Do you, okay, this do you have any uh, water with no ice? Oh, that's what I, she'll have. That's for dessert. Yeah. Do you think there would ever be a way, because I really want to do this, I want to catfish you from an online account, but I'm the girl that shows up. But do you think there's any amount of cosmetic makeup and BBLs and fake tits <laughs> and tattoos? You're too tall for me. I would not like you. I can get surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Is there, like, I would love to go on a date with you just so I know all your boiling points. I think yeah. it would be so funny. It would be so, I mean, I... You would know. No, no, no. I, no, 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 no. I think <laughs> I, if you, um, I mean, dude, people are, perf like, are so good with prosthetics. Yeah. That I I think I think we could do it. Yeah. I think we or could I would just it. be in. I mean, that was that whole MTV show. They'd have the best friend. It'd be like me yeah. and somebody's ear talking to them of like what to say. God damn, it'd be so fun. If you could I do it. We, it wouldn't take that much. I just think it'd be so funny. Have a girl sit down and be like, I don't order. You're the man. You order. You pay. I'm out. Dude, it would be. First of all, it would be so funny. Second of all, I'm not. T I'm not joking. For honestly, either of us, it would be very easy. You oh, make, yeah. you, you, I don't you do a lot of research before I go on a date. I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, you show you, up. Yeah, you're you you look attractive. We've I we've have scorpions in my house. Anything to get me the fuck out of there. A hundred percent. I don't have a house. So this looks good. This right. booth is comfortable. I can but, sleep here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would be very easy. It would There's be. There's also a lot of like overlap, I think, in Los Angeles where somebody knows somebody of somebody. Yeah. So if you're like, yo, check out this girl I'm going on a date with, we got mutual friends, whatever it is, bada bing, bada boop, your piece. hundred percent. Dude, you could do it. You would because it, be so it would take me. I think you'd know. You would take one minute. I don't know if you did it. If you slow bake me, I don't think I would know. But you'd have to slow bake it, and she'd have to be a good actor. What would you do if a girl went on a you, you went on a date with a girl and like right off the bat she goes like kind of hit that same thing that's that happening you know, on the subway with that one one girl that went it. If she was just like, why are you like trying to be funny? Like you're not funny. Now, right now, I'd walk out <laughs> immediately. Yeah, or I'd get mean. <laughs> I might get mean. But that's the Michael I'd want to see on camera. But if you started with that, that whole like episode would last four minutes. Because <laughs> I'd be like, oh, interesting. I'm trying to be funny. Cool. What do you do? <laughs> oh, you went to USC to be an architect and couldn't do that. So now you work for your dad's marketing firm. Excellent. What do you do every day? Probably nothing because your dad pays for your fucking salary. You probably don't make a lot. You probably don't need a lot because you probably fucking probably sell your coochie essentially. You don't have an OnlyFans, but I mean, you're on a date right now and you're probably, you're, and this is essentially yeah. what you're doing. But meanwhile- And your left eye soggy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But the, the directors and the producers would be in like Video Village watching this bag being like, yeah. yes, this is exactly what we need. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, that's great. And even if it only lasts a couple minutes, what you do is you then you also get the valet driver in on it. So Michael's like, all right, I'm walking out, I'm leaving. Oh, fuck. And then Michael goes, hey, yeah. I need my car, and the guy's just on his phone. The valet guy give goes, me a second. you can get it. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah, that's a good, but both those are great. If you start with, give me a second, yeah. or nothing, and they go, sir, and he goes, can you give me a second? Yeah. And then back on, the, and I look over, he's playing Fruit Ninja, like he's not even doing anything. Yeah. And then he goes, you know what, dude, why don't, if you're such a big fucking hurry, why don't you get your piece of shit BMW? He says, piece of shit. Yeah. What do you have, the Lexus or some dumb shit? Yeah, yeah. Cool, red seats. What do you have, a small cock? <laughs>
Uh, Funny. All right, guys, you ready to get into some sock talk? Let's do it. Ben had. Uh, we have a question here from Mayfield who says, uh, Baker? Is it wrong to think about other people while doing the dirty with your partner? No. Nope. No. I do it daily. Not at all. I think about better food when I'm eating bad food all the time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm eating a shitty airport sandwich, and I go, you know what? This ain't Quiznos, but God, I love Quiznos. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Toasty. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one sandwich I'd probably pipe down. <laughs> Bitch. Um, no, I don't think it's. I mean, I, I here's the. If it's you admit not, it, if, out loud. it's not good. Yeah, but we've all done it. But if you're doing it consistently, just to like get through a session, it probably says a lot about your relationship. Well, yeah, if you're not. with your husband, you're thinking about other people. Then it's a little interesting. But if it's like a fantasy guy, yeah. like Ryan Gosling or Trevor Wallace, like then yeah, yeah, then if you're like screenshotting pictures of your cousin and using it to get off, who knows. You're probably but, a politician. It's a problem when you're picturing something that could be real, like a guy you work with or a girl you work with, and you're like, I wish it was them. That's when it's a little like, okay, it might happen. Yeah, that's hot, though. Huh? God. That work relationship is so hot. I know we talk about it a lot, but it is so hot. Fucking little pencil skirt. Hey, check out they have donuts in the lobby. Fuck yeah. So hot. All right, Secret Talk Guys Anonymous Submission Let's says a guy canceled our dick appointment because he didn't want to miss trivia night. I got wow. Well, the only trivia here is um, you should be fucking somebody else for five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take the the other the other part? You ever have a fun trivia night? <laughs> it's better than Cooter. It sounds cool. I've never done one, but they look. It's sick. so fun, dude. Yeah. It's so fun. It's well, so well, fun. Why can't you do both? Why can't you invite her to trivia night? She and then be, afterwards, you do the cordis. She might be bad at trivia. Some yeah. people are really smart and bad at trivia. Yeah, yeah, but I'm the it's opposite. fun. It's good dynamic. It it is fun. It's not fun if well, I'm I'm very competitive, so it's not fun if you suck. Well, it's an octagon. Oh, it's a sandwich. Are you the guy? Get off my team. <laughs> are you, would you get mad at like a girlfriend if she was really bad at like charades? Uh, how mad? I would get annoyed. Like like let's say she's like acting out a witch and she's doing like this to you. She's like, I would be like, what is that? But after like, she, goes, win. she goes, Michael, it was a witch. If she gave me that, I'd be like, cool. I understand you were trying to do a witch, but that was bad, and everyone thought that was bad. But no one can tell you that because they're all trying to do a good impression of <laughs> Producers you. Producers back on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, you gave, if she gave me attitude, she's like, I, no. Michael, how'd you, how come you didn't I've get that? I've seen you in a relationship. You're a very wholesome man. Yeah. I haven't seen you behind closed doors when it's horny hours. <laughs> but I'd be fucking. I know. Long time. God. <laughs> Dude, if you, like, the aesthetic of a great cootie. <laughs> like, so we gotta just do a whole cut of Michael being like, dude, head is so good. Vaginas? Women just walk around. <laughs> they do. Isn't that insane? They walk around with the greatest thing that's ever happened to the history of mankind. I don't know. Have you ever had nerds clusters? Those are <laughs> pretty goddamn Shut good. Up, you fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they have that. But also, don't they think that about us? Like, yo, guys have never, dicks. never. They don't give a shit. You know what blows my mind is when we get horny too. Like, they be one sometimes. They say Even their shit head, tingles yeah. when it gets horny. They they Spider tingles. Senses. But I it, get but, excited. But, <laughs> I, what? Are, how does horny feel like to you? <gasps> Dangerous. Like, <laughs> I gotta get it out. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Get... Is it like what's the sensation you get when you're like, oh fuck, I'm horny? Dude, it starts to take over my brain. Go ahead. It's just like I Talk need on to it, get a, I need to get that nut out. No, it's here's what it is. I go like it's if starts, I'm an alien, I'm like I don't get horny. Can you please explain to me? Horniness to me is like an earthquake. It starts and I go. There's no way this is happening right now. <laughs> it's 3 p.m. There's no way. Like I'm like, is this really happening? Do I get cover right now? And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, we're in the middle of it. And then in the middle of it, I go like, I got to get cover. And by cover, I mean like I either need to like. Maybe go on a date, or I either need to go to the bathroom. And it's sink time. We're going yep. back shots only. Wow. Yeah, kitchen okay. sink. I just, I, dude, it, I literally, sometimes it just comes over me and I just got to get out. I mean, I told the story a long time ago on this podcast. I was in the middle of a grilled cheese and I was like, I have to come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I've been there, dude. And I've I been turned there. the stove off yeah. to touch myself yeah, and yeah. then return to make a grilled cheese. That's a sad grilled cheese. That man. is the most, I'm 30 single and alone statement I've ever said in my life. Yeah. That's some like, that's some like jail behavior. D literally. That's loose jail. That's parole terms. Fuck. Yeah. It, it, does, it does take over your body when you go, but, but I need to, is. something needs to occur right now. But also there, there's, I get the excitement in the same way that you do. Like, yeah. I haven't been on a date. Like, I was in New York and I met up with a lady. And, I, and I, I'll tell you what, I haven't been on a date in like a couple of weeks. Like, I was just like 
so busy with stuff. And then I was like excited to have a night. There you go. Fun. Went to a Did dinner. Did you have a good time? It was great. Went Where'd to you go? Dinner. Did you order all of it for her? No. This, okay. this was separate. She was normal. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but exciting. You know? You're like, oh, what am I doing tonight? Oh, cool. Just Meeting get to go. Meeting up with someone that I possibly could connect with. Yes. And. Hold up. I'm hard. Was. <laughs> Did you kiss? Yeah. With my penis. And her. Sir. Was it good? Great. I'm so happy. God. Wet. All, 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 all the letters. W E T. God, dude. Wet cooties insane. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Wet cootie. Oh my god. Dude, wet cooties. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. No, you miss. You misheard me. What'd you say? Wet cooties, crazy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I just thought that was a, such a fun. It's like something Wiley the Coyote would say. <laughs> Wet cootie is insane. It is. Wet cootie would be my like AOL name for sure. God. Yes. Anyways, fun, great times, good vibes. That's great. You can see awesome. her again. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> that means she doesn't live here, so it's a hard, uh, hard sell. <laughs> By code, I, I don't think. Would you? Could you do long distance? Uh, if I could cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Long distance has got to be, I mean, Jack, you do it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's fine for me. Why? Oh, because her now. girlfriend's listening, that's why it's fine. <laughs> no, it is, yeah, we just, we make it work. I don't know. Do you FaceTime bang? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I have to. FaceTime every night. Oh, well, yeah, you yeah, talk yeah, every night, like, that makes to. sense, like, it's. Yeah. <sighs> but it, it is, it is nice, though. You don't have to deal with the day-to-day. I'm hungry. You live in fucking Philly. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Eat a cheese egg and shut up. <coughs> oh, fuck. It's well, crazy to me that we're both single. That's crazy to me. I don't get it. Well, anyways, I'm Brock Lesnar. Are you? I don't know. It could be. He has you? a sword tattooed in the middle of his chest. You sent us a picture <laughs> of you at the uh, game yesterday, and yeah. your neck... Looked like a strong man's neck. Thank you. I need more comments like that. Did you guys, did, was I the only one that noticed this? Trevor's neck in that picture he sent us? Look, pulled up. Oh, maybe we can put it up on the screen. I think it was just a shot on like a 50, 35 mil. <laughs> that looks pretty normal. No, something. you look Jack, bro. Hey, Jack. You, you look, look, dude, Jack. dude, I will say, when they put me on the Jumbotron yesterday with the Mariachi boys, highlight of my life, I looked hot. I had sunglasses on, I had a good smile, got a lot of DMs. God, there's nothing better than just looking cool. It doesn't happen a lot for me, but when it does, fuck. <laughs> that is a podcast. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much for listening to watching. Uh, Friend of the Runner, we have a uh, mother effing Patreon ad free episode drops every Friday. Five bucks. Same uh, gregarious content, but different episodes every Friday. Uh, we also have uh, Stiff Socks Plus on Apple. That is uh, bonus episodes, but that's audio only. So you can get it on uh, Apple, and now uh, it's on Spotify as well. So get it, love it, enjoy it. Um, you know, come on. It's uh, it's less than a cup of coffee. So we love you, and uh, shout out to all the lovers and the kissers, and listen to Drake's album. It's uh, awesome. Bye.